All right, the first part of the video I'm going to show you is really just to get you familiar with using the deload method to flash ROMs to the Android phones. Basically what you have to do is where it says USB connected, you want to push that and do the USB storage so that you can actually use the phone as a mass storage device. So go to computer and uh, you should have your device and then all you do is you put the folder called deload in the root of your SD card and you'll know it because there will be a folder inside the archive the RAR that will say deload just put that in the root of the SD card like I showed right here then you can go and uh, turn USB storage off after you've moved your ROM there. Now the idea, the reason I'm making this is to show you how to actually go from stock to a custom ROM and back again. So the first part is actually going to be showing you how to recover it to stock. So what you need to do for that, you got to power off. This is just for the U8500 and maybe the Ascend, the Huawei Ascend. This might also work on. I don't know. Power the phone off. Now, when you power it up, what you want to do is push the end button like the talk end button hold the volume up and the power button and then you'll get a screen like this Alright, after it gets done, it's going to reboot on its own. And you want to leave it unplugged until it actually boots up. It'll reboot itself twice when you do a firmware update like that. Alright, now that it's booted, we don't really need to mess with any of this stuff right now, so just skip what you can to you get to the main screen. There's not any need to put in your Google account or anything yet because you're going to be installing a custom ROM. And then we want to go into settings. applications turn on unknown sources go into development turn on USB debugging click OK um, you also need to first install the drivers on your computer they automatically will install from the phone or uh, 
you may have to go into device manager and install the drivers but anyway this should be for people who know kind of a little bit about what they're doing anyway because you have to have uh, okay now you have to be obviously in the folder that actually has the file and you should get something like this success now you go back to your phone go into your app drawer Z4 root should be at the bottom now. You want to click permanent root. You don't necessarily have to do this before you install the custom ROM, but uh, it'll leave it rooted after the ROM's installed. Now, when you run it, it's going to reboot the phone. And uh, then it'll be rooted when it boots up again. Okay, now that I've got the phone booted back up, I'm going to open Z4 root once again, just to confirm that the root took took you know went through. You should get an on-screen pop-up asking for super user access. Click allow, and it will only have two options now: unroot and reroute. You can't really read them, but that's what it says. So the next part, I'm going to show you what you need to do to actually be able to install the custom ROMs. Power the phone off first of all. I'll have a download link in the notes for the video to tell you where to get this stuff. The next thing you're going to want to do is go to this Clockwork Mod folder, which you'll have to extract, and it'll have some of the files already. And you're going to want to run this batch file, but first you have to put the phone into fast boot mode, which is just another couple of button clicks. You hold end, volume down and power and the phone's going to look like it's booting up normally except that it's just going to stay on the main boot screen now you can you can use the SDK to confirm that it's in fast boot mode but as long as it doesn't go to the Android screen like it's loading it's in fast boot mode now run the batch file it's not in English so the characters don't show up correctly press enter enter and if it's in fast boot mode it will correctly write the files to it press enter one more time it'll reboot the phone and the way that you can really test that it's actually Well, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to show you how to put it into recovery mode and actually flash the custom ROM. 
right now it's stock. Now, if you don't want to wait for it to boot up, just flip it over and take the battery out. And then to put it into recovery mode, instead of doing end, you hold the green send button, volume up, and the power button at the same time. And you'll get something like this. Alright, so from the recovery, you're going to want to just, uh, well, the first thing you do before you install a ROM is you're going to want to wipe all the data. So you want to do wipe data, factory reset, these are all menu options, click yes, it'll format it, wipe the cache, go to advanced, Wipe the Dalvik cache. And then you're going to want to go to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. And in this case, it's going to be named Ginger Evo 2.0. and it will do all of this on its own when it's done you will want to reboot the system it'll be that and a menu option in the recovery just reboot the system Uh, the one that I have that will be linked in the notes is uh, in a different language. When it looks like it uh, figured it out on its own, then it's English. I'm just going to skip the Google stuff for now, but obviously if you want to, you can now put in your Google account information and get your you know, contact sync. Alright, I've finished the update and I've rebooted. You can see it's got a new cache and stuff like that, so it runs a little bit slow the first time you boot it and get everything running and I actually have a new kernel to try with this one so now we have cyanogen mod 7 and um, I guess the main main change is that this is running Android 2.3.4 now instead of 2.2.1 I doubt you're going to be able to see this on the on this. Okay, well it's 2.3.3, and then we see down here Ginger Evolution 2.0, and it thinks it's a UM840 telephone now instead of a U8500. So that's that's everything there, and it will still have root access. I don't have any way to check it right now since everything's been wiped out, but it does. You can flip it sideways now. You can't do that when it's stock.